Hello, my loves. Welcome back. It's your girl, Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. I felt so called to sit and vibe with you guys. Last night was the Leo full moon and it was beyond stunning, man. I was working outside for my clients, working on fixed custom candles and oils for my, for my clients. And I love that. There's a big chiminea that I treated myself to when I bought my house because I love working with fire for my rituals and stuff. I lit the fire, the belly of Big Mama, as I call her, in my chiminea. And while I was sitting in setting attention, this huge fire tornado was created in her belly. And right over the left side, on the feminine side of the chiminea, you could see the full moon lighting up. It was so powerful, it was so remarkable. So shout out to those of you guys that I was able to work with last night, you are really going to have some very powerful manifestations happening in your life because last night was really showcasing the energy that we were working with. I was feeling it in my own life. I set some powerful manifestations and intentions for myself to the point where last night I had these prophetic dreams that helped me to gain more clarity into you know where i'm walking into next and where spirit is leading me look at this we have the star card and the king of swords so now today i feel strong enough and clear enough i always need some recovery time after i'm working my magic because so much of my intention my energy goes to my clients at that time or whatever it is that i'm working on manifesting i had some recovery time this morning it's now this afternoon i'm pretty sure nova is sleeping right here too she was by my side so she's a little tired my magical my magical pup and i wanted to connect with you guys and connect with spirit and see what the message is what spirit has in store for us so thank you so much for joining me once again let me just take some time to ground myself center myself spirit we are here once again we are here with you we thank you for your transparency, your authenticity, your voice, your clarity, your love, your support, your inspiration. Speak to us and let us know what it is that we need to hear at this moment in time. What do we need to hear? Okay, clarify. First, first cards that are jumping out, we have Six of Wands, that's number one. Then we have the Strength card. Then we have the Moon card reversed. And then we have Five of Wands reversed. Um, let me just move these flowers. These flowers are by uh, books.com. So if you guys are looking for beautiful, stunning flowers, I can have a, I'll share a coupon code with you guys. Hopefully by the time I'm done sh doing this reading, they'll they've had sent the uh, custom code. If not, then I'll just let you guys know on my I, Instagram stories. Anyways, six of wands, strength card, the moon card reversed, and five of wands reversed. What is really standing out to me? I just heard submission. Submission or a, or a petition, actually. Spirit is saying there was a, 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 a petition that was submitted, something that was written Something that was put, it was a request. I just heard, make your request known to me, man. Something about, um, I don't know if this is specifically a male energy or if this is biblical and how spirit is speaking, but it's make, man, make your request known to me. With the Six of Wands, their spirit is, saying this is a very specific message but spirit is, is telling me about the success in in defining what it is that you want knowing what it is that you want and finally learning not to settle for less this strength card is referring to at this point in time from what i can see what i can hear the strength card is referring to the lessons and your endurance and your cho your you you choosing you intentionally choosing to not allow the lessons given to you to define you but to strengthen you but not harden you wow you have tapped into unlimited source and potential 
you have become softer, not weaker, in your unconditional love. Spirit rewards those who forgive, is what it is that I'm hearing. Spirit rewards those who have who forgive. It's a gift that you give to yourself, but because you challenge yourself to surrender and to let go, which is actually a theme that we've been seeing a lot lately, because you've challenged yourself to surrender to let go, which is the ultimate sign of strength, at least in spirit's eyes, because you are stepping into higher faith and higher love. And I'm also hearing this is the space that you belong, the space of freedom from emotional, mental uh, drainage, something that drains you like an infection. Because you have carried yourself into that position. And Sorry about that, guys. Um, because you have learned all that there is to learn and to gain from these events that have occurred in your life. I'm also feeling like it's not just one event. It's multiple events that are like sprinkled across the the map of your life or the astrological chart of your life so there's different categories of your life that you've had to learn specific things um i'm also hearing karma it's these baggages not baggage but it's the it's something that was passed on a baton that is passed on okay now it's your turn to to uh, and i'm also hearing the word legacy there's something that is passed on um I'm hearing communicate communicative, so it's it might be how you speak to others, how you allow others to speak to you. Um, it may have been toxic. It may have there's a throat there's a lot of throat chakra here and heart chakra. It's not that you're not in. I just heard the word inquisitive. Um, there's the these are very inc oh wow nine of swords at the very base of the reading. I didn't I didn't see that until just now. You, okay, Page of Swords, yeah, so this is a lot of learning, High Priestess, I, and I was just saying that, Crown Chakra, Third Eye, so you would receive these downloads from Spirit, but a part of you would, the logical part of you would start to question or try to rationalize it, does this make sense, is this possible, um, if I speak up, there will be a consequence, if I ask for this, I won't get it or I won't receive it or what it is that you're asking for does not reflect what spirit wants for you and there's some give and take that has had that had to happen that now you've learned how to I keep hearing the words carry forward it's not you're not only speaking for yourself you're speaking for your ancestors and the generations that have come before you the baton that is being passed so when you were manifesting in the past certain lessons they weren't just your hopes and wishes and dreams that needed to come to fulfillment it was those of those who've come before you so you could sense that and have some level of honoring it and respect to it because it needed to happen in order to clear out karma but it it didn't completely make you happy although it was a responsibility of something that was carried forward for you to close out a, a chapter to close out and that has given you lessons as far as clarity and what the blockages were, the karmic um, blockages were that were forcing you to face it because those who've come before you didn't have time or they weren't able to figure it out. But here you come, <laughs> capable, fully capable and fully blessed by those who the strength of your ancestors are here guiding you and have been guiding you. Now, all of a sudden, you know, you're not having to fight that battle anymore. So something really has been closed out. A chapter has really been closed out or is in the process of being closed out. Nine of Swords, again, I'm really getting the sense with the Nine of Swords, Page of Swords and the High Priestess reversed. It's the things that it is that you're manifesting and things that it is that you are viewing, seeing, experiencing, dealing with, were they were giving you some level of angst because they didn't resonate resonate with the greater picture that you see for your life but again it was this knowledge this akashic record this truth this epiphany this revelation that needed to be closed out so that's a very specific message for someone and that's what spirit is seeing and i'm also feeling like with the strength card showing up in the leo full moon i and the moon card reversed something was completed a chapter was closed out at the time of the full moon if you haven't done this 
yet, it's time for you to close that out. And how do you do that? You do it by looking back at um, or recording. So going back uh, and looking, okay, this lesson brought me this. I closed out this chapter in my life. I learned this within this time period. The major themes of your life, really write them down and look at them. And just by doing that alone and seeing what was the major theme, it's going to give you clarity and empower you and close it out. It is that easy. You could, you could. I just happened to have one of the candles that I was working with last night here. Um, I was doing a lot of love magic because um, Leo full moon was just lighting that up as well as the bird of paradise candle. But you could easily burn one of those candles. And as I'm saying that we have the Knight of cups sitting at the base of this reading. But you can, after you do the work of writing down all the major themes and lessons, look at this world card, uh, the chapter will be closed. You can burn a candle, a seven day candle, or work your oils, work with oils in order to energetically um, see, like seal the envelope and send it out. It's it's gone now. Look, nine of, nine of cups and the world card. So this is without a doubt showing me that a chapter has clearly ended you have been released i just heard um the the work has been done the the the, the, the there was a prop i just heard prophecy so there was a prophecy that was spoken over the elders this is not some from the moment that you were born um it was said from the spiritual realm the moment that you enter this earth which means that if you look at your astrological chart you'll see the lesson written in the chart by your challenges found within your astrological chart. This could be issues of health. This could be issues of uh, karmic karmic uh, lessons when it comes to dating or self-worth or self-value or maybe children, there might've been a blockage, but something literally, look, has been closed out, Four of Swords, rest. Now rest. I love that. Holy crap. Wheel of Fortune. Look, Spirit is really speaking. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yes. Karma, fate, um, your own destiny has closed out. And now it's time for you to rest. I, I don't feel like this is a, a surrender. I feel like this is a, a, a rebirth. Regeneration is the word that's coming through. Restorative energies. Wow. Celebratory. I just heard the word celebrate. Celebratory. Write it down. Don't forget to write this down. Spirit really wants you to recognize and hear this message. Sometimes it is that easy. Just go back while you're resting and revisit. Not in a way to relive the chapters and to relive the pain or relive the poison. Um, but to understand it, it is your understanding, your grasp and your understanding that literally closes out the chapter because you say, oh my goodness, I've learned this lesson before and I, I have what it takes. I have what it takes. I'm not doomed to repeat this because I've learned it before. And from what it is that I've learned, I am going to let this go. I'm going to, your knowledge, wow, guys, judgment. This is a level of awareness that frees you up through your understanding, through your clarity, through your your um, this awakening that happened within you, this knowledge that is that you have. So you don't look at the lessons and you say, oh my God, I can't believe that I lived through that. You say, because I lived through it, I have this understanding. And now that I understand it better, I can do better. I can choose better. And I won't repeat those past patterns. Wow. Oh my God, the growth, man, you guys. I have freaking chills yes this has a lot to do with what was lost love lost failed what was had to be surrendered what had to be let go of um i just heard the word and forgive me if this triggers anyone but i heard abortion there were certain things that were aborted in your life or an actual abortion itself it's things that had that were washed from our our body washed from our system forgive yourself for that you guys forgive yourself for the choices the decisions that, that you made at the time the things that didn't work out don't hold on to it anymore. It's already been reborn into some new stage, some new way. Don't relive these past moments and just um, harp, like um, hoard them, you know? Spirit is like, really release, release yourself from that. Wow, look towards the future. Do you see how now that Five of Cups has moved over here and now we're looking towards the future? Look to the future with hope and faith and understanding an expectation, eyes open for what is to come because something truly, 
is meant to come. Three of Wands is the trine. I'm seeing the trine within the chart. I'm seeing the trine within the cosmos that opens the door, that births, births new life again. Look at this. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. This is something that's already in the works that you have you have not seen yet, that you don't have understanding of yet. You, it's not you're not aware of it yet. Some of you guys have decided not to go on a trip, not to go on an adventure. Wow, Six of Wands, success. This is the right choice. Some of you guys have decided to cancel or abort your plans is what I keep hearing, aborting a, a relationship or aborting something. There was great success in the fact that you did that. Um, that had a lot to do, holy shit. You have 10 of pentacles here, six of pentacles. This had a lot to do with your ancestors now being like, this person gets it, you get it, she gets it, he gets it, they've learned. Also, you choosing not to show up in that way, are you ending this thing? Open the door for greater abundance and blessing over here because when you say no to something, you're actually saying yes to something else and that's what you have done clear. Oh my goodness, Spirit is speaking, you guys. The full card, the full card. It was a trust, a, 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 a trust fall that you did when you decided to say no to something or speak up for something. And now all of a sudden you've completely are trust falling into this beautiful abyss. And guys, I'm not someone who uh, says things and promise. Oh my God, the tower card, man, this is so good. It's getting really heated. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. The tower card represents the prize, unexpected developments, things just literally happening. Um, you guys know that I am not someone who talks, oh my God, great healing, the hope, the wish. What is it that you wish for? What is that you're hoping for? This has everything to do with what was aborted, what was ended, what had to be sacrificed, what had to be let go of, what had to be surrendered. You already did it. For the longest time, you guys were stuck in ha hangman position, world card reverse, wheel of fortune reverse, judgment card reverse, justice card reverse, and there was look i'm not kidding hangman reverse literally it was upside down do you see how spirit is speaking you guys are stuck in that position and literally you're being carried out of it this confirmation looks six of wands keeps showing up success we've done it some of you guys are fighting this message right now i can genuinely feel it i totally understand it's that nine of wands energy that seven of wands energy that i'm feeling behind me right now not just Nova. Yeah. It's also your ancestors. Um, they are so resilient that they resist resilient. They resist, um, certain things because they don't, they have this, uh, mindset sometimes of not expecting too much because then you don't want to get your hopes dashed. You don't, they don't want to see you disappointed, but they have to rest now. Look how the Four of Swords is coming through. They have to rest now. They've served their purpose. Thank them, thank them for the lessons that they have taught you. Thank them for their own experiences. But you've got this. You've got this moving forward. You know what you're doing. You know what it's meant for you to, to call out for, what it's meant for you to ask. All due respect to our ancestors, always look. Spirit is speaking. Go speak to the universe. Speak to the universe. Give them Watch your dreams too, you guys. Spirit is really speaking to you to you through your dreams. You're going to start seeing the faces of your loved ones. You're going to start seeing the places that is that you're going to be um, traveling to. Spirit is going to start speaking to you through your dreams. This is because you are quiet. This is because you're no longer rationalizing things or logically thinking through things. Okay, King of Pentacles. This has something to do with a lot of your security. It has to do with... Um, I just heard husband material or wife material, the lifestyle that is that you're going to be living. What is it you're manifesting for yourself, career? I just heard the word prophecy. Again, it was a prophecy. Something was spoken into you. It's a gift from the universe, gift from, but it's also your gift to the world. Some of you guys have a lot of love, a lot of creativity, a lot of energy, a lot of energy that you wish to share, that it actually hurts you to hold on to it. Spirit is going to open the door. Wow. You're going, there's an ending here. Um, again, a chapter is being closed. Something is being en ended. It's because of the, the, the cycles that have ended the pain that has made you love and made you hope and made you dream for so much. And it's actually sparked this um, vision, this dream even further in your heart. Okay, so Spirit, we have cut the deck far enough, like enough, enough. Wow, Chariot card, things are moving. So speak to us, please. I'm gonna do a full reading for them. Speak to us, inspire us, talk to us. What is it? What is it? Holy goodness. 
Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Your happily ever after is in the works. You're working on it. Nine of Wands. I can't stop cutting the deck because Spirit has literally been moving. It's like that fire tornado that I, I experienced last night while I was working my intentions. Those energies are still here. They're still prevalent. Okay, Spirit. I am so excited by what, what it is that you're showing them right now. I'm going to pause and regroup and recenter and reconnect so that I can hear from you further. So that I can hear from you further. Seven of Cups. Okay, we're listening. We're listening. We're listening. All right, Nine of Cups still wants to show up without a doubt. And Ace of Swords. Um, I heard the word rejoice, rejoice. Um, it's a song. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to you. Yeah, I knew it. There it is, Nine of Wands. Um, yeah, so the defensive energy is still here. And like I said, I feel it behind me. I don't know who specifically ancestors it is that I'm connecting, or maybe it's a common theme of energy of the people who are watching this video right now where the ancestors or your energy is very guarded at this moment in time. That's okay. It happens. Spirit is trying to encourage you, though, to let that go let that go let there's something that's being parted in your life you're so i'm actually getting a, 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 a vision of the parting of the sea you're so expecting to be drowned in these circumstances because of what has already happened and what has already occurred through your generations that have come before you through the legacies that come before you so water is a threat the earth is a threat fire is a threat um air is a threat if it's be why? Because it's something that the ancestors have lived through. So when they see it, they are immediately triggered by it. Even though they have the wisdom, they want the best for you. They're still a part of them. They still have lived. They still have their own experiences that they carry forward and share with us. So as soon as they see this, they are immediately triggered. You, however, have experienced your own traumas when it comes to similar things, but you've closed out those chapters because you didn't directly live it and because your life and your legacy is not going to mirror exactly those who have come before you. You're going to write your own chapters. You're gonna have your own experiences. You also have different strengths and weaknesses that were passed on. Again, I had this vision just now when I was starting to cut the cards and cut the deck where the moment that is that you were born, your ancestor spoke something over your chart. And that is why you chose that moment in time. And you will find the, the mystery of that. You'll find the key of that written in your astrological chart. It's literally in your natal chart. The square, the opposition, the trine, because even trines can be create pain and usher in pain and struggle. Believe it or not, I should do a whole video on that. Um, it's not just squares or oppositions that'll do it. But there's something that you had to break through in this life that is de very defining for your life here but it's not going to define your life if that makes any sense so let this go spirit has already parted the sea or opened the door or calmed the waters or calmed the air or um stilled the earth for you and it is now safe for you to move forward please Wow, oh my goodness, you guys, the same cards keep showing up. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords, and also the Seven of Cups. So you do not have to choose what was chosen before you. There's this really strong message of the ancestors speaking through. Um, they want to give you a gift. They want to offer you a gift. But at the same time, um, and some of you guys are not going to receive this. Some of you guys are going to fight me on it, which is fine. I totally, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight. It's not my battle to fight. If you're going to receive the message, then you receive it. If not, then you can let it go um, and carry on as you will. But for those who do receive it and those who are working on this, your ancestors are going to give you a gift that has to do with the battles, the battle that you have fought. You do not need to prove them wrong. But the way that they would have wanted you to do something, or maybe if it's not your ancestors, it could be your family or your community around you. The way that they 
want you they want you to win this battle but they want they're expecting you to do it in the way that they would there's a reason why it didn't work out for them and there's a reason why you want to be very discerning and have clarity ace of swords here on what you how you are going to do it this is has everything to do with a breakthrough a blessing a major gift that is meant to come into your life this could be generational wealth especially with Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This could have to do with actual happy marriage and union because that's been showing up a lot lately in 2022. And the partners that it is that you're selecting, you're not marrying for wealth or stability or for logical reasonings. You're actually marrying for all of the right reasons. Um, so you're not just choosing one thing. You're choosing all the things you want your happily ever after. This has a lot to do also with the the fruit of your health and how you take care of yourself um, and your refusal to, to battle for your health or to choose unhealthy things. Your ability to not work, work, work all the time and have rest and balance. Everyone is going to be different. All right, so the next set of cards that are jumping out, we have Seven of Wands Reverse and Seven of Swords. So again, there's this method modality is the word that is that I'm hearing that you are going to define on your own terms not how it has been defined for you and you're not going to allow it to define you because your legacy is going to be different from those who have already come before you um okay yes queen of look spirit is saying queen of swords and the moon card be very mindful and and take the time out you guys seven of I'm sorry four of swords here and also seven of swords is here but take the time out to disappear for a minute to not consult those who have already come before you or the world. This is going to be how you sense, how you intent intuitively sense what you are going to do because there are other options available for you in this life. We're in a new time, a new stage, a new era, and a, a chapter in your life has closed. So something new is showing up. Wow. Six of Pentacles and the Judgment card reverse. Being very mindful and aware of what you are going to give, what you're going to take, what advice you're going to take. I'm also feeling like I need to pause because I feel like there's something else that Spirit wants to say with this, with the Judgment card reverse. Okay, I just heard, um, seek, wow, okay, seek not the wisdom of others, but the wisdom of the self selves there's more than one so there's a higher there's higher selves the physical self the spiritual self the emotional self the mental self it's funny because i just saw the queen of swords and i just found that i'm actually doing the same my body language is showing the same thing as her i feel like you guys are going to be doing the same oh my god and look seven of cups he's he's doing it as well so you, spirit, it's not the word discernment. What is the word? Discretion. They're saying, don't look for the consequences. Look for the course. Like, look, don't look for the consequences. Look for the course. So the, the, the path that you're meant to take, don't look for the consequences. Don't, don't seek the punishment. Don't look at what, could go wrong don't expect what could go wrong don't expect what could go right steer the course follow the course i just heard you're in good hands you um something about that which you seek um that which you seek um There's two messages here. It's interesting. And it has to do with the Six of Pentacles, what you are receiving and what you're giving. So, and this like exchange. So some of you guys, what it's like that, what, what you're, it's being, being very mindful. What is that you're looking for? What is that you're seeking? Are you going on this journey? You can tell yourself, I am looking for this. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, whatever that is, whatever that represents for you, 
But in reality, if you took a step back, while you are seeking this, it's almost as if, oh, I can't get this up. While you are seeking this, you are also almost simultaneously expecting and seeking this. Seven of Wands reverse, Seven of Swords. You're expecting to be bamboozled. You're expecting to be taken advantage of. You're expecting to have a difficult journey, a different, <clears throat> a difficult path. So Spirit is speaking the words, seek that which you seek. What is it that you are seeking? Be mindful because some of you guys are on this journey or on this path or manifesting the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, but you're also connecting the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles with the Moon card, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Wands reverse, the Seven of Swords reverse, you're expecting. And that is what is causing a, a mental blockage within you, an opposition within you, because that sparks your anxiety, that sparks your in internal chaos, that, in that sparks your inter internal defense mechanism. So don't expect it to be this awful beat down process. I'm also hearing universities. Some of you guys are going to be starting off going to university, going to school, or learning something new, some new venture, some new challenge. And I'm starting to get really restless. Um, with this, you're just ready to go, but you're expecting it to be difficult. You're expecting to have moments where it is that you fail. You're expecting to have to fight or to, what if I told you that the, what if it was actually easy and effortless and you succeeded? <laughs> Everything that you expected to fail at um, that you're just like, well, yeah, just, of course that's going to happen. What if it didn't though? Like, what if it ended up being like amazing and you just naturally excelled at this? And just because those who have come before you didn't excel at it because they've had their own defenses and their own obstacles. Like what if the lessons that you learned have just set you up for success? So when you step forward in this, you just literally shine. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's like, I literally, I feel like I'm talking to the ancestors right now and they're just like, oh, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, this is such a specific message for someone. And like, all due respect, like, yeah, they might have done really well in some area, in a few areas, but you're different. Like you not only are carrying their wisdom and their experience, experiences, but you're carrying your own strengths you know, that come with you just by you being you. Also, look at your chart. You're destined for something here. Not only are you destined for the, the success of that which you seek, <laughs> but you've already experienced the lesson, so don't go looking for that again. Don't seek that as well. Yeah, two of wands, king of swords. I just, I just don't think that you should be looking for it because it's making you defensive. It's making you on guard. It's making you distrust. It's making you bitter, cold, calculating. And it's also stopping your progress, stopping your wisdom or shrouding it, like covering it so you can't actually see. It's like you're looking for something to go wrong. And this is why I think spirit is saying, why don't you rest for a few minutes or for a few months? or a few weeks before you get started and just don't turn this experience into a battlefield, a battleground. Why don't you relax for a little bit? Yeah, five of pentacles, page of wands, high priestess reversed. You're intuitively trying to sense something that's not there. And then you get anxious or you'll find, because you're looking for the battle, you accept the battle. Does that make sense? Because you're looking for the struggle, you will find something to struggle in and you will not manifest it, but almost create it because spirit's not trying to help you to manifest it. You're you're sensing something that's not there because you're forcing it. Does that make sense? Some of you guys are like, wait, how, why would I wish this struggle on me? It's like an expectation. It's not that you're wishing for it, you're expecting it. And spirit is like, did you even sense it? Would you trust your intuition when it says that the path would be cleared for you? I literally saw the parting of the seas. So some of you guys, like the seas will literally part and you're over there fighting, you know, you 
fighting the wave. It's like, just walk forward. The course has been cleared for you. Literally, you haven't been abandoned. And if you have been abandoned in the past, or if someone was abandoned before you, that has already been rectified. That's already been cleared. So go forward. Don't expect the battle. Don't go looking for it. Like literally, you guys are looking for it. King of Swords reverse and Two of Wands reverse. You're looking for something that's not there. They said that which you seek. So what is it that you're seeking? See it. Because it's like, you're looking, again, an illusion. You're looking for an illusion. You're looking for something that doesn't actually exist. And I, I don't feel like you're calling it forth or manifesting it, but you'll see someone ba battling over in the corner and you're like, oh yeah, that's exactly what, it's just like, no, can carry forward. Your discernment would, would guide you in the right way. Look at this, Emperor, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords reversed, and Four of Cups reversed. So Nine of Swords reversed and Four of Cups is literally the promise that you can relax now <laughs> and some of you guys are going to fight me on this but are we even surprised like you're fighting the wave right now you're not fighting me you're fighting the wave so just see that minimum because you're you're going to exhaust yourself fighting that but there's no need to stress anymore there's no need to be anxious you don't even need to choose to show up you don't have to choose to engage in anything that is tumultuous in energy because you already know that you are stable, that you are secure, that you are in good hands, that things are different now. This is where you're walking in. This is what has opened up. These cards are not upright. They're not saying, oh God, I, this is not something that is that I want. Or, oh my goodness, this is something that's going to cause me a lot of anxiety or angst. No, they're reversed for a reason. They're saying you've already, you're creating anxiousness or anxious feelings in a space that doesn't need to belong there you actually have a lot of interest in this why don't you see what you actually feel sense that instead of trying to look intuitively for what can go wrong because your intuition is not telling you that things are going to go wrong your intuition is telling you that things are going to go right nine of cups and the ace of swords is literally the clarity that you refuse to see because of your own expectation Look how big her paws are now, you guys. They're literally almost the size of my hand. She's getting so big every day. For those of you guys that ask about Franklin, um, he's always been a very independent pup. He comes looking for you when he wants the cuddles and he wants the attention. Um, but for the most part, he has his own room. I'm not even kidding. He has an iPad and he listens to his favorite music on his iPad or watches, um, not Netflix, but YouTube dog videos. He's, he's literally thriving. <laughs> Neptune, I'm sorry, did you say Neptune? That's weird that I said Neptune. Franklin is the king of the house and we all just honor him. Speaking of king, we have emperor here and six of pentacles. So yeah, a lot of you guys are, are understanding that I don't need to choose everything I can say no to certain things. I can have discernment. Um, this could be just, I just feel like you disengaging from stressful situations or tension that you're just like, yeah, look at that hermit card reverse. Like, you're just like, I don't, I don't need, you don't even fight it. You're just like, no, just no. And then three of pentacles is reverse is I, I'm not going to collab with you. I'm not going to connect with you. I'm not going to connect with this because you're just like, no. <laughs> And Virgo rules the hermit card. Virgo connects with discernment. So there's this natural sense of <clears throat> discernment that just stabilizes you. <clears throat> You're happy. Sometimes with the two of swords, um, you know, some people look at this as a negative thing, but I'm just seeing you pausing and reflecting and just being like, all right, yeah, we're good. Yep, trust fall, new journey, new venture. So now that I'm starting over fresh, not everything's gonna be a yes for me because when I did say yes to everything, I was overburdened, stressed out, didn't like it. Boom, two of cups. You are naturally, effortlessly, harmoniously connecting with that that which you seek. Spirit, last message. Let's talk about the two of cups here. That which you seek. Some of you guys are asking for timing, and Spirit says don't ask for that.
just focus on the, the the course at hand like the journey at hand focus on what's in front of you deal with what's in front of you there's certain things that you need to prep yourself for right now there's you have enough in front of you right now it could be reorganizing or organizing clearing out your space i in my own life you guys i've been working on i'm going to be reintroducing the body butters and i know this sounds so crazy because i have all these projects right that it is that i'm working on i've got the book that it is that i'm working on but homesteading believe it or not and doing yard work has energetically been preparing me for releasing the body butters if that makes any sense it's so funny how and for those of you guys who are like just what, what is she talking about my body butters were best seller best seller in my shop next to the money oil and the love spell and the lunar goddess oil and all of the fixed candles the fixed candles sell like hotcakes which makes sense because we use them to manifest all of our greatest wishes and, and desires. And this is the year of the witch or the year of those who set in powerful intentions and use candles to do so. So it makes sense. It's always been a part of my process. Having said that, um, I always hesitated on bringing the body butters back because I felt I needed to be grounded and stabilized in something like that. Um, I've always felt that. Look at that page of swords. So me doing the work, the groundwork in something totally seemingly unrelated is energetically aligned and it's prepping me for the release of something so major and something so sought after and something so stabilizing for me and something so nourishing for you and for me because I, I wear the body butters. So um, I know that sounds so random, but I feel like we're talking about it spirit is bringing this message to you right now because you'd be surprised how clearing your space prepares you for what is to come even though you feel like you're wasting time or it doesn't connect it does connect because energetically it serves all right so what do we have here yep two of wands this is what is to come it's what you have been waiting for it's what you have been expecting Ugh. all right um forgive me for making that noise um, <laughs> I try to put myself outside of this, but sometimes when I see things, I have a reaction. It's just me just always being truthful and honest and authentic with you guys. Um, okay. What made me make that noise was seven of swords and six of cups to each their own, take it how it resonates, whatever. Um, there might be someone coming back. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, you guys. We're we're in this together, you and I. All right, we're family. We're family at this at this point. We're just family. Accept it. I love you. You love me. It's it's real what we have. <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, I will do a six of cups, seven of swords reading if you request it. If you ask for it. If you ask for it, I. This is not something that I personally. When I close out a chapter in my life, I'm like. Bing bong, I'm out. You know, um, however, there might be something from the past trying to revisit and enter in. And it's so interesting because Page of Cups, some of you guys are like, it's impossible. But Page of Cups is, yeah, when pigs fly. Pigs aren't meant to fly, but the state, the statement itself says the impossible happens. I don't know how it would get in. <laughs> But it's working on it. <laughs> For some of you guys, it will lead to happily ever after. It will make you very, very happy. So, um, and literally the rainbow is a sign of miracles and things that shouldn't happen that do occur after all of this tumultuous energy start to pass. For those who do not resonate with that message, this is your message. This is something that has been a, a memory, a wish that has been long time coming in the works for a long, long time. And it is literally like when pigs fly that it happens simulta simultaneously, comes together, aligns together. And with two of wands and two of pentacles, Trump, like 
at the borderline of the reading of all of this, this is showing me that two separate things, two separate people, either long distance or pulled apart or time away from each other, even if they haven't met before in this life, Six of Cups here is something, a karmic soulmate, a twin flame, something from the past that somehow carries forward into this life, into this reality at this moment in time. Spirit said specifically to me, do not allow them to ask when the timing is. Um, Spirit would rather you talk to them about timing. Do, 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 do. Hello? Hi, this is Nova's foot. How can I help you? <laughs> That's so cute. Little pause. She doesn't even care. Hi, you guys. I have to trim her nails. She's terrified of getting her nails trimmed. How do you, if you guys have a dog or a cat that um, is scared of getting their nails trimmed, how do you do it? I'm also thinking about giving her a manicure or a pedicure when she's sleeping. I would do these things for Franklin, but Franklin literally, he doesn't buy with nail polish. He told me himself. All right. Um, yeah. So that's the message from Spirit, you guys. Um, there is a word from our sponsors, I believe it is I Am Defined Beauty, which is a black owned, stunning skincare brand who reached out to me. They're in Whole Foods and they're also migrating now to Target. So you're going to see them shortly. ASMR, ASMR. <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, even though I'm on YouTube, I don't really do, um, I don't really do the whole readings on YouTube. If I'm watching on YouTube for myself, I'm doing ASMR. Like I'm listening to ASMR videos, or videos on dog training. Or homesteading, I'm so sorry. I was like losing myself in that. Okay, so let's just quickly open this up. Yeah, so this is um, from I Am Defined, clean, conscious, inclusive plant magic. So it's very, very natural. We definitely love a natural queen and quality. She also left me this beautiful note, but can we, can we look at the inside of this box? It says, I like my products, how I like my people, non-toxic, <laughs> a vibe. She left me this beautiful note inside the box and she is letting us know that she has a new sun serum that is launching this week that, and she will also be launching in Target too. She said, I hope you enjoy these R&R &R goodies, which tap into plant wisdom and mushrooms to help skin adapt to modern stress. I love, love, love your content and authenticity. You truly are a undefined, undefined muse, girl. Oh, undefined. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you. Let's see, let's open up these little treasures. Oh, accessibly priced so everybody can get it. Sustainably sourced, cruelty-free, non-toxic, female-founded, black-owned, and no BS, just like your girl. Okay. So this is the sun serum, and I am beyond excited because I actually live in sun territory. I'm in Florida, y'all, now. So, ooh, water resistant, say less. Mineral sunscreen, all skin types, all skin tones. Wow. No paraben, silicone, sulfates, palm oil, flaties, I don't know what that is, artificial dyes, triclosan, triclocarbon, no mineral oil, or petroleum. So this is very all natural and good for your skin and also in the environment. She also sent a day serum, which I'm going to try. The glow up is real. This lightweight serum is supercharged with brightening plant magic like kakadu plum, licorice root, noni fruit, and high performance skin saviors, vitamin C, alpha arbutuin, kojic acid, niacinamide, and nature's hyaluronic acid, tremolo mushroom to hydrate your fine pores, brighten and help fade the appearance of dark spots and acne scars. Say less. I don't mean to rip this open, but. 
You guys know I'm all about the skincare. Jeez, ew. Jeez, ew. That is stunning. Here's some ASMR for you. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think I could do an ASMR video? Nova. She doesn't seem to care. I love skincare. Love it. No, it doesn't have a scent. I bang with that a lot. It's not sticky, absorbed like immediately into the skin. Lovely. Okay, what else do we have here? Ooh, cleanser. Gel cleanser, R&R. &R. Rest and recuperation, I'm here for it. And then we have, ooh, a night serum with rose hips, moth bean, carrot seed, macadamia. These are a lot of herbs that I have. Oh, I love the way this one smells. <laughs> I don't mean to get so excited, but I do get excited. Thank you so much, my love, Dorian. You are the amazing queen queen for sending this to me. I'm very excited to get this on and pop in. In fact, I'm gonna do my skincare right now. She did leave a coupon code for us. It's 15% um, off if you use the coupon code Bahati Life on the website. Again, they are they can be found in Whole Foods and also they are launching in Target, which I am so excited to see women owned, female founded, black owned businesses, inclusive brands uh, showing up everywhere right? Not just certain specific energies and things like that. This is fantastic. And the, clearly the quality is there. So thank you, my love. And again, use that coupon code Bahati Life for 15% off. Um, until then, I want to invite you guys to, to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you, You'll find time and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahatiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahatiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.